Welcome to Raising Warriors for Christ. I'm your host, Pastor Bombs. This is Sunday. I know some might be going to church, others might be, hmm, maybe uh, you, you, you're going to catch the, the church service online. It's very important to be in the house of God. It's very important to, to, to go to the house of God and fellowship with other believers. Now, but today, what I want to encourage you with is the law of expectation. Do you know if you can take a big number, no matter how big that number is, if you multiply it by zero, it is still going to be a zero. Many of God's children go to church. They don't expect anything. Now, I learned this um, on the 31st of December 2013. There was this gentleman that I sat next to a church. I saw him writing, what are my expectations for 2014? I thought, wow, that is good. So I started copying. I was about to write the same thing. What are my expectations? The only thing that was missing, have you ever seen these school kids, you know, they're sitting next to each other. The other one is a math genius and the other one, you know, maths and the math teacher, they don't see eye to eye. So he's copying and he's about to write the same name, right? I was about to write that na his name on my paper. You know, the names, the man's name was David. Yeah, thank God I didn't do that. But what I did was, instead of copying exactly what he wrote, I wrote, Father, what are your expectations of me? I just took it to the next level. Immediately, guess what? God started speaking to me. Again, this is an alien thing to many Christians. Do you know many Christians cannot even fathom a God that talks to them? Come on, people. You know, what would be the point <laughs> of having the Holy Spirit live on the inside of us eh, and claiming God as our Father and not having Him talk to us? You see, when you expect something from God, you will also expect that He is going to talk to you. So I wrote, What are your expectations of me for 2014? Listen to what He says Greater revelations are coming your way 2014 was a phenomenal year for me it gave me a foundation of where i am 10 years later because god gave me a revelation of the gospel now i've been a christian for 10 years in 2014 now i'm a christian for 20 years nearly 20 years actually right now the law of expectation is the breeding ground for what god can do in your life if you go to the house of god without any expectation you don't expect your situation to change you don't expect to hear from god you are religious <laughs> i'm sorry to say you have become religious yeah it's easy to fall in that trap of religion religion has no power you know jesus said to religious people of his time because they had no expectations he was there as a healer as somebody sent from God to bring transformation but do you know what happened what happened is they allowed their traditions to stop them from receiving they had no expectation that God was going to do something right there some of us we have an expectations of the future I'm going to be healed in the future my marriage is going to be transformed in the future I'm going to meet my, my, my future spouse. It's always future, future, future. What God wants to do with the law of expectations, it's a now. He wants to do something now in your life. Why does it have to be in the future? Why does God have to bless you in the future? Some of us, some of us, we don't even expect anything. <laughs> it has just to become, become a religious show. You know, a religious show just to go to church Sunday in, Sunday out. You know, some of us have already given up going to church. So when you are about to listen to this and you think, oh, here we go again. Right. We have given up going to church because we have not seen any changes. God is a God of change. What are your expectations? You have to have an expectation. The first time my, uh, my wife took me to a, a Christian event, it was 2005. I was a Christian just for one year. One year. Now it was um it was a Benny Hinn event, right? It was in Norwich. Now I live in London, right? Two hours journey on a train. I work in the hospital, right? This hospital where I used to work, there was a lady who was sick unto death. The lady was about to to die. 
the situation was very very bad right as i entered into that stadium i saw people being viewed people coming out of wheelchairs i never seen it before never been in a christian program before in a christian crusade before never seen that i'd gone to churches when i was growing up but i never seen anybody healed but i saw people being healed i saw people being transformed oh man it was so glorious it was so powerful thank you jesus you know it was so powerful now when i saw that i said right the law of expectation i'm expecting this which i see to take place about two hours away from where i am norwich and london was about two hours journey on a train right so i'm expecting that woman to be healed now i prayed for her law of expectation monday i go to work that woman that i prayed for on a saturday monday she was up and about walking within seven days she was discharged from the hospital the law of expectation what are you expecting when you go to the house of god are you expecting to be healed are you expecting your life to be transformed expect god to move in your life that is the breeding ground for the supernatural if you don't expect anything nothing will happen if you've never expected anything in your life it is time to start expecting god to act on your behalf because he wants to i'm pastor long i approve of this message have an awesome blessed sunday in jesus mighty name